Welcome everybody to Vinny's Kitchen. Today I'm going to cook one of my favorite dishes of all time. I probably said that about the chicken rigs, but this one's also one of my favorites. Um, it's actually a soup, but it cooks or it eats like a meal. Today we're making pasta fazool, otherwise known as I think the formal name is pasta e fagioli, which means uh, pasta and beans. A lot of people call it pasta fagioli. It was always called pasta fazool as I knew it. So uh, we're going to make pasta fazool. It's one of my favorites. These cooking segments, basically I do this to try to inform people that cooking is really easy. This dish is really easy to make. Pretty much every dish I make is easy to make. I think that a lot of people think that cooking is a little harder than it is. It's not. It's very simple. Use fresh ingredients, uh, simple spicing, and it makes for great food. I mean, you watch any cooking show out there. Most guys are using super simple stuff, fresh ingredients, and you make restaurant quality or better food. I don't uh, go to many restaurants that have better food than what I make. So anyway, we're gonna get started on the chicken, or uh, on the chicken, <laughs> on the pasta fazool. Uh, so here we go. First off, I'm gonna cut up an onion, uh, medium-ish size onion. Uh, coarse chop. Now, people may, like all the dishes I make on, uh, and a lot of Italian cooking, um, regionally it's different. Uh, I'm going to make it the way that I was taught and I actually have even embellished a little bit on. Um, same flavors, but you know, pasta fazool is pasta and beans, like, like the name. And uh, so I've actually I, just to have a little more sustenance to the soup, I add uh, celery and carrots and onion. Put a coarse chop on, a, on an onion. <clears throat> celery, again, coarse chop. This uh, to a lot of people is called a mirepoix, I believe. It's, uh, celery, carrot, and onion. You see it in almost every dish that's made. Uh, any any braised meat usually has a mirepoix in it. Um, and we're gonna do carrot. Do a quick quick peel on this carrot. Uh, I'd like to quick shout out and thanks to my friend Paul Satone who's helping me uh, with the filming of this. He'll probably cut out all this peeling and stuff. So. Uh, <laughs> If he doesn't, then you'll get to see me peel carrots. B-roll. If he does, yeah. We got some good B-roll anyway, if nothing else. So, all right, now, do a quick chop on some carrot. Any size is good. You know, it's a soup, so you kind of make them soup size. I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret once I start the spicing and start up with this soup. And, uh, Blow my cover. Okay, we got our rough chop on some veggies, and uh, got to do the spicing as well. I use uh, all fresh spices, as you know. Uh, calls for basil, of course, because pretty much everything I cook with calls for basil. So we do a quick chop on some fresh basil, and same thing with some flat leaf parsley or Italian parsley, whatever you want to call it. You can eat this stuff raw. It tastes really good. It also aids in digestion and helps for fresh breath. So if you eat some super garlicky food and you have a parsley garnish on it, you should eat the parsley at the end. It'll help to di digest the garlic as well as keep your breath fresh. All right, we're gonna move over to the stove now and add our ingredients to the pan and get this thing going here. All right, here we go. First off, we have a pan with some water in it. We're gonna start for the pasta. So, usually I put a top on it because it just heats up faster and boil faster. Now let's start the soup. So, turn the pan on, nice medium heat. Some olive oil, quarter cup-ish. Now here's my cheater that I was talking about before. Jarred chopped garlic. Makes life a lot easier. It's not quite as good as fresh garlic, 
but this stuff is actually pretty good and it's $2.99 a jar. It's like 20 freaking heads of garlic or something. I don't know. So uh, you're gonna wanna put about two to three cloves of gar or cloves in, chopped, which is about you know, probably a heaping uh, teaspoon. Basil and parsley go in. You let this cook for a couple minutes just to get a, a sweat on. If you guys could smell what was going on here right now, you'd be in heaven. It smells amazing. All right, we got a nice sweat on these uh, spices. Let's add the veggies here. Things cranking. Smells pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Gonna let these sweat down, get a little transparent. Next step uh, are the beans. Now, I use Great Northern beans. You could use either Great Northern or Cannellini beans, either one. The Cannellinis are like a, they call it a white kidney bean. Um, Great Northerns are just a little bit smaller, a little firmer. Uh, I leave all the stuff in them. A lot of people will tell you to rinse them. I actually like the thick, juicy stuff because it kind of thickens up the soup a little bit, gives it a nice texture. Um, and then I rinse what's left in there. There's all sorts of beans and gruel and stuff in there. I like to get all that stuff out. All right. And then, next ingredient, very important, chicken broth. I'm using a free range chicken broth, fat free. Uh, this is a 30, this is a one quart. Uh, I'm gonna put that in. Now usually along with the chicken broth, I will add about, maybe about half the amount in water as well. A little salt and pepper. Teaspoon of salt, some pepper. Last but not least, Parmesan cheese. Oh wait, one more thing I forgot, sorry. Put a little red hot in it, just add a little spice, not too much, just a hair. Um, and Parmesan cheese. Best thing for this is if you actually have real Parmesan, like the, the rinds, which I happen to have, not a ton of, but I have some. Put them right in the soup. Thickens it up, gives it a whole lot of flavor. And I'll just add a little bit, quarter, half cup of uh, Parmesan. And that's it. Now we let it cook for a little while. And we'll see you back here when the pasta's done. And we'll serve it up. And uh, you're gonna have probably the most delicious soup you've ever eaten in your whole life. See you in a few minutes. While the soup is cooking, I'm gonna make the pasta. We got some boiling water here. Just need a little salt. If I could find my other salt. Where is it, Paul? Paul, where's my salt? There it is. All right. Salt, the water, after it's boiling. Plenty of salt to make it ocean water salty. I use Ditalini. Uh, you can use, you know, small, it's soup, so you want a small pasta for it. Most places use Ditalini. You can use a mini penne, you can use probably farfowl or any number of different kinds of pasta that are mini shells, something like that. I just happen to use this. Put it in the water, give it a stir. Let it cook for 10 minutes. Soup's still boiling, so it'll be a few minutes yet. See you then. Now I'm gonna hip you to a couple things here. The soup is white. Um, a lot of people make red pasta fazool. Um, sometimes I do too. What I do, it's the same. Basically, this is the same dish as chicken riggies, but you do it in soup and there's no chicken, there's beans instead and no hot peppers. But it's the same base. It's still the onions and the uh, garlic and the basil and the parsley and the chicken broth, no white wine. Um, 
You want to make it red? Take some of that marinara sauce, put a couple, two, three ladles in it, then it's red. Changes the flavor a little, not a ton, but it does change the flavor a little bit. Um, today we're making it white. Sometimes I make it red, sometimes I make it white. It depends on what I'm feeling like. Um, but for now, let's uh, drain the pasta. All right, pasta's done. All right, we're gonna serve up a bowl of soup here. Bowl? <laughs> you know, you want about a ladle of, uh, of the ditalini in the, in the bowl. And get a little bit of everything in. How beautiful is that? And it's delicious too, I can tell by the way it smells already. Oh baby, I can't wait to eat it. Well, bon appetit. Pasta Fazul, I hope you enjoy.